Hey everybody, Jochen here, and today I am bringing you the ability to split your Spotify audio channel from your normal desktop audio channel. So this will be helpful if you want to adjust your Spotify volume, but still keep the same desktop volume kind of thing. Now before we continue, please remember to press the like down below if this video helps you at all, and subscribe to my channel for more tech content and game content. A shout out to dwell to delta for showing me how to do this and also for your patronage if you do want to also suggest a video please support me on patreon and you will be able to get your own content out now to get to the capability of splitting spotify with voice meter banana okay so what we want to do is we want to open up spotify and when you get to spotify go to your settings tab and if you scroll all the way down, you will see show advanced settings. Click on show advanced and you will see this playback section, but there is no capability of actually selecting your playback device. What that means is that it'll output it to your desktop device automatically because that is what's set as your default. So what you want to do, edit your Spotify shortcut. And at the end of your shortcut target, what you want to add is dash dash enable dash audio dash graph. Audio. Enable audio graph. Apply. Okay. Let's just close Spotify over here. Now, when you open up Spotify again and you go back to your settings. Scroll down to show advanced. Under playback, you now have a playback device selection box. Now you can specify be it the default or any other device that you want to output it to. Now I'm going to output it to the VB Audio Cable A. And you'll see that VB Audio Cable A has nowhere here. Now if I play anything on Spotify, it doesn't specify anything. Let's select Cable A. And now you can see the Spotify music starting to come through. Now what voice meter allows you is to split all those channels and decide where you want to output it to. So I can output, oh, let's just rename this quickly, Spotify. So I can output the Spotify music to my A1, which is the headset. I can output it to my desktop. And I can output it to my voice meter cable B. Now this voice meter cable B that I've set up just before I show you is for my Nvidia recording separate tracks. So if I go to audio, you can see that I've, my microphone source is audio cable B. Now what I've done to set that up in voice meter banana, you can see that my output A3 has been selected as audio cable B. Now I've also output all my comms to A3, which is audio cable B, and my mic to A3, which is audio cable B. Now, if we start uh, Spotify, I'm outputting it to my Logitech headset. I can output it to my desktop, which my main mic will pick up. And I can also output it directly to audio cable B, which is the separate audio track. Now, as soon as I do this, It'll be overwhelming, but I can also change it so that we can actually hear what's going on and just have it as a little bit of background music. Now bear in mind, I can still change over here. So you can now adjust your communications audio, your background Spotify music audio, as well as your desktop audio. And now I've got a little bit more control as to what is being output and where it is being output to. It's as easy as that. You go into your Spotify, you set your properties with enable audio graph, and you make sure that you're using voice meter banana in the video that I've listed below. Thank you for watching. Please again, press that like button down below, subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in having a guide made, please support me on Patreon. It is really helpful. And thank you for watching. Yoken out.